Hi there, Luke Rick, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I uh, just want to cover how to create this lighting effect using uh, mesh light in combination with motion blur and atmosphere volume. To create this kind of slow shutter photography effect you see of car light trails, but instead we're using uh, paint effects converted to mesh light. Okay, so I've got the model here. I'll start off by creating a, a circle. And under the content browser, there is a paint effects brush called uh, Gloppy, which I found gives the best result, but you feel free to experiment with different brushes. So with the circle and the brush selected, I'm going to attach brush to curves. And then to render the paint effects in Arnold, we need to convert it to polygons. Okay, and then to render the geometry as a mesh light, you need to go to the Arnold properties and under the Arnold translator, change it from poly mesh to mesh light and then increase the exposure to something like 10 and make sure that the light is visible. And we'll do that for this mesh as well. And I'm going to project the color texture to the mesh light color. So as far as projection, change the projection type to perspective. I've got a render camera here and I've got an image of some uh, swirling paint, colored paint that I'm going to use. Okay, so if we set off our render in the Arnold viewport and I'm going to add a denoise imager just because just quick uh, IPR rendering, especially when we're using motion blur. So now we just apply some motion to the paint effects brush. So if you select the paint effects brush, go to, to the gloppy turbulence type, uh, we use grass wind, just increase the turbulence quite high. We have to set some keyframes for the turbulence frequency. So the frequency set that to one, set a keyframe, and then frame three, set uh, another keyframe so that we've got some movement between frames. And then under motion blur and the render settings, let's label that, increase the key to something like five, and we want to a nice long uh, motion blur trail, so increasing the length will give us that kind of long exposure look. Unfortunately, motion blur is not supported in the viewport, so we're gonna have to open up the render view and render it there. Okay, so we're getting these these trails now. But we're lacking the the atmosphere volume effect. So under environment, atmosphere, atmosphere volume, increase the density, lower the anisotropy, and then just increase the attenuation slightly. Just like 0 0.04. So give us this. If we want to change the effect, we can always just rotate the circle. Because the paint effects is construction history, it's uh, attached to the circle, so we can try it that way. You notice her face is quite dark by default. If you go back to the environment atmosphere volume and under contribution attributes, in fact, I'm just going to do a little snapshot here. Uh, you notice that diffuse contribution is zero by default. If we put that to one, it should this is a big difference in, the, in the, the way the diffuse lighting is reacting to the atmosphere volume. So that's that's one, that's with it, and that's with without it. You see, making a sort of difference. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to change things further, there's the C value, so you could get different variations. Maybe animate that to, and pick uh, something you like, or um, there's a whole range of different settings for the paint effects brush. You can you can. Uh, tweak in terms of creation, maybe even uh, the size of the brush, smaller, smaller sizes, give it a much different look to a, a larger brush, uh, brush size. And of course, increasing the, the size of the circle as well will make a big difference because the mesh lights will be further away from the model or closer as to how you, how you prefer it. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.